Hi guys, this is Mrs. Jones, and some of you guys know me from before for teaching art online um, to you guys, and maybe some of you guys even remember me from when I used to teach there in person. Um, but anyway, I am going to try out some new software today and just do a little short lesson on sunflowers, and I know you might not have a lot of art supplies, but you probably might have a marker or a pen or a pencil around your house that you can use for this project. And we're just going to do, I'm going to give you an option. You can either do a sunflower mandala, something like this, where it's like a zen tangle and you fill each petal in with different patterns and textures. Or you can do one more like this where you've got some crazy psychedelic sunflowers and if you have some colors you could color them in with zen tangles in the background and petals flying everywhere. Um, or you could do some kind of combination of those two things. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those. I'm going to start with the regular sunflower mandala. Um, you can put the center of the flower anywhere you like. I'm going to put mine in this corner to start, but I mean you could just do a plain sun, like a regular sunflower in the middle of your paper and do the petals coming around, or you could do it off to the side just to make it look a little different and a little interesting. Um, sunflowers have kind of a long point like that when you're making sunflowers. Almost like a turkey feather. They're pretty long. And they're so beautiful right now. I hope I hope you have a bunch of sunflowers in Des Moines. Um, or near Des Moines. Like I have out here where I live in Trinidad. You could put as few or as many petals as you want. Let's see if I can get this to go back a little bit farther. Okay, so then you can go in and start filling them in with different patterns. There's a lot of ways you could do this. You could do solid circles or open circles. You could even go in and color the background black or something like that so that they're white um, and I've noticed when you're doing this kind of art project like Zen tangles where you're filling it in with different textures it's really helpful if you make half of it dark and half of it light so that another way to say that is positive energy and negative energy um, so what that means is some of your squares should have 50% black and 50% white just to make it like balanced. So maybe I'll make this petal half black and half white or whatever color you're using. If you're using a marker you could use any color you want but half colored and half not. just so it's balanced. Something like that. Mm, okay, so I have something kind of straight here and circular here, so I probably want to put something in here that's like different than those two things because it's touching it and I want it to be different. So maybe I could do like some rainbow looking arcs or something like that. It's kind of like a combination of curves and lines. So you don't have to do any of the patterns I'm doing. You can come up with your own completely. You could write 
you could write words in them even. Like if you want to write like faith, hope, and love or something, or if you want to write your name in it, or you want to write the word sunflower in it. Or maybe you could get a marker that's yellow and write the word yellow. There you go. So they're all kind of contrasting, right? Let's see. What other ideas do we have? Um, you could do like some plaid. Like I feel like here would be a good place for plaid. So plaid usually has three or four different lines happening that are crossing each other. So we just have a plain one. And then we'll go the opposite way and we'll do like a thicker line. And then maybe I'll go behind. I'll make some of these a little bit thicker with a thin one in between and then a thicker one. Thin one, a thicker one. Something like that. And a thin one, a thicker one. Um, so then maybe I'll do some other design like, ooh, like drippy icicles. If you've ever seen Frozen, Something like that kind of reminds me of when they first find Olaf. And it just looks like the icicles are dripping from the trees. You know, something like that. And you could just leave them um, on this side or you could like go on and take the line all the way across too. It's up to you. I kind of like it just like this though. Something like that. And then I'll decide later if that's too much white space. So if I'm going to leave that though, this probably needs to be something dark. So maybe I can do like... Oh, I wonder what it would look like if I did a, like a target symbol. And again, you don't have to do any of these textures or designs. You can make yours your own, but I'm just kind of giving you examples. So I think this one needs to be really solid if I'm going to leave that one white with dots in it. Or maybe I even need to put more dots. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So this one needs to be really solid. Um... Maybe I'll do some, like, stars. I know stars are hard to draw, so you don't have to do stars. I'm trying to think of what would look good here, though. I'm not doing a very good job with my stars either. It's okay. So then, to make it look more solid, so it balances out the light spaces, you could color the background.
the cool thing about this is if you mess up, you could always like go over it and make it another pattern or just make it like a solid colored leaf or petal, I mean, and move on. So again, you could use markers, pencils, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you've got on you at your house. You can use the same color for the whole thing. So it's like black and white or, you know what I mean, monochromatic, uh, which means one color. Or you could do a bunch of colors. Like a rainbow. Or you could make it look like a sunflower and do the petals yellow and the center orange. You know, you could do that too. Oop, I'm going so fast I'm not coloring in the lines look very good. Or I'm coloring in the lines and I should be coloring on the outside of the lines, actually. Ooh, the Sharpie smell is getting to me. Might have to take a little break here in a second. There we go. I like that because it kind of balances it out a little for me because this one is so light. I'm not really sure what I, I think I want to add some more circles just so it doesn't have so much empty space. That's a little better. Okay, let's see. I feel like I need something with a lot of lines or swirls or something in here on this side. Um, I saw one that I thought was kind of cool that looked like, like pieces of boards or like wood leaning up against each other in no particular order. Kind of reminds me of when you draw like the lines across volleyballs, <laughs> and you gotta get them just so. Oh, that was kind of far apart. It's all right. So there's seven elements of art, and some of the first ones most people learn are line, and color, and shape. And this project's kind of cool, because we've got line, don't have a lot of color, but we do have shapes. Um, So it's kind of neat because you've got all the things in one. I feel like I should just leave this one pretty plain. Maybe I'll put a big heart. Like that. Oh, maybe I could write I love sunflowers. I like it. Okay, I got two things left. This petal right here and then the center, which I want to kind of think about. They did like a border around their center. 
but it's solid black. I think I don't like that. I think I want to do like this kind of border. Don't know why, but that's what I'm doing. And then I want whatever's in the middle to kind of remind somebody of seeds, you know? Ooh, I kind of like the way it looks with those filled in. Like in between. Makes it look darker, you know? Okay, I'm going to think about that and come back to it. Let's see. Something liney, something straight, something swirly, something shapey. What should go over here? I feel like something squiggly. Maybe like waves? Like that? That works. Okay, what should we do in the center of the sunflower, guys? I don't know what I want to do. I kind of don't like this one. I wonder if I should make these solid. Oh yeah, I like that better. What if we did mermaid scales on the inside? Not like these, but like scales like on a mermaid fin. Or a fish fin. I'm feeling good about the idea. I'm talking myself into it. I think that would be good because it kind of will look like a seedy texture. Okay, so something else cool about this project. You could just leave it black and white or whatever color you chose. One color and white, you know, monochromatic. Mono means one, chromatic means color. So one color. Um, or. Like, say I wanted to use watercolor if I had some at home, I could make the background blue or green or something so it looks like a sunflower in a field or something like that. So that might be cool. Okay. We're doing mermaid scales, which actually kind of looks like what I started doing. So to do mermaid scales, you do, like, repeated upside-down U shapes, and then you go in the middle of the top of a U and attach it to the other U shape, top, middle, like that, and then you just keep going. And then some of them might have to go off the page a little bit, and that's okay. But you just try to aim for the middle of the top of each previous row. It's like if you're ever in a choir concert or something, or you're standing in a couple lines for like Veterans Day show or something, and they say, stand in your windows. You're like standing in between the two people in front of you so that the audience can see your face. So it's kind of like that. It's like all these little seeds or scales are in each other's windows. I don't know if that makes sense, but... Maybe it does. There we go. Okay, but I also don't like... I feel like these are the same weight, if that makes sense. Like, the same amount of black and white. So, this one needs to be darker, somehow. So, what should I do? Should I make, like, half of the um, scales dark? Let's experiment. I'll just do it with one row to start. Like that. And then you would do the ones in between. Kind of doesn't work out very well if you do it that way. So you just pick some. I don't know. I guess it's just random. It's fine. <laughs> I 
I probably should have thought about this a little bit more. But I still like it. Kind of reminds me of like um, the ornamental corn you can get that has different colors and stuff. And actually, it kind of looks like a like little flowers with a dark center, and like those are the leaves, just like a bunch of them. So maybe it looks alright after all. Do that. Yay! Okay. And when you're done, you might just go back and outline it really good with your marker or pen that you use to make sure it just looks nice and finished and not almost look like it was fading right here. My Sharpie is on its last legs. Okay. So there we have it. It's a Zentangle uh, Sunflower. Now the other option was something a little more crazy like this where they're kind of organic shapes. They don't look realistic. They look kind of groovy. And then I just put three sunflowers and then you can color them yellow or whatever color you want. But then the background would be full of Zentangles. So like these um, squigglies around here would be full of different textures. So something like that, and like this one could be like our line texture we did that looked like kind of wood pieces or something, or noodles, or I don't really know what it looks like. I'll go diagonal this time. So I hope you guys are enjoying school so far this year in Des Moines. I'm enjoying my new school in Trinidad. I used to teach in Maxwell. And I left, which was a hard decision, but I was living in Trinidad. And it's a long drive from Trinidad to Maxwell every day. Probably about the same as Des Moines to Trinidad, like if you go to Walmart. Can you imagine doing that, going there and back every single day? That's a pretty long drive. There we go. So that's kind of interesting there, the way that's turning out. What are some other options we've got? I like these hangy things and the bullseye. Oh, and I like the waves too. Let's do that. But instead of leaving them empty, I'm going to color them in. Oop, it's like counting tree wings. I am not doing a great job keeping in the lines. Way to go, Miss Jones. I'm so glad I get to teach you guys art this year because I don't get to teach art in Trinidad, which is kind of sad because I'm not used to not teaching art. I've been teaching art for so long. I'm actually teaching careers classes, which is cool and helpful to the kids, but, you know, art is my thing. 
as you guys know, art and music. And so I feel super lucky to get to do this with you guys. It's like stress relief for me. And I hope art is stress relieving for you too. I think I'm going to do something different this time though with this. I'm going to connect them and put like a different little dauber hanging off. I saw one that looked like piano keys that I thought was pretty cool. Oh, this is nice because this one goes all the way around. But how cool would that be if you did piano keys? I bet at least one of you out there plays piano. I hope you do. I'm not great at piano, but I do like to play from what, like once in a while. And if it's like a awesome song that I love, I'll take the time to learn it, but I have to really want to learn it. Something like that. I don't know how I feel about this one, but I like the hanging dewdrop looking thing. <laughs> it went from like a diamond to a, a square over here. I don't know what's happening on this side. <laughs> you can see it a little bit better. Yeah, I don't know what kind of, it's like a triangle. I don't know what's happening. That one almost had five sides. Focus, Ms. Jones. This is what it's looking like so far. Oops, I just realized this is supposed to be right here too. If I'm, you know, keeping it consistent in the background. Whoopsie daisy. I'm actually really liking how this one's turning out. I'm a fan. So, what I might do if I were you, just so these sunflowers actually stand out, if you choose this type, I might take some colored pencils or markers and color the sunflowers in solidly, like a solid yellow color or something, with a brown in the middle or something like that, or green or whatever. Just so they stand out against the black background for contrast, and then it'll draw your eye to the sunflowers, maybe. Oops. Let's see, what else do I want to do here? Hmm. It's like there's two extra rows right here that didn't make it over there. Like it went together like that. I don't know what happened, but plaid. I'm feeling plaid. So plaid it is. So, thicker one, skinny one, thicker one, skinny one, thicker one, skinny one. 
Actually, you could just leave it like that, but I want mine to be plaid, so. Cool beans. I like it. Guys, my Trinidad students told me that pumpkin spice came out at Starbucks today. Maybe it was tomorrow. I don't know. How do you guys feel about pumpkin spice? Fans? Not fans? Ooh, that was a cow. Okay, I'm looking at this. I kind of want something like that and something like that. So, what would go better? That one? Maybe the bullseye should be here. I'm liking this bullseye look. This kind of reminds me of something you'd see on like Beetlejuice or Tim Burton movies. That looks cool. And then I have to carry it over here. Okay, oops, this probably would have been plaid. Okay. Alright, I'm almost done. I, I mean, I don't think you have to fill the whole background, but just for fun, that's what I'm going to do. I'm almost done. We got this. Okay, this one's going to be like, uh, I don't even know what you call this. It's like rainbows piled on each other. Piled up rainbows. That's what we'll call this texture. So in the past, you guys have had a couple different platforms where you post your art projects when you're done. I like using Artsonia because um, then it's all in one place and it stays together like you have that portfolio until you graduate, like I don't delete it. And also you get entered in contests nationally. Um, where you can get like artist of the month or something like that nationally like against a bunch of other schools so that's kind of cool so that's why i like to use art sonia to store my um kids artwork and student artwork so it's kind of up to you as what you think you want to do this year but oh man this is gonna be cool I don't know what I'm gonna do for my last sections over there I wish this didn't have to be a recording this week but I have school on Friday so I have to give you a recording this time but next time I will hopefully get to hear what you're saying and you guys can give me some feedback 
and tell me what you want to do and give me some ideas. Oop, I'm getting a little sloppy because my hand's getting tired over here. Okay. Last section. And you really wouldn't have to do that. You could skip doing these and not fill the whole thing. But I'm going to fill it, I think. I feel like I need something darker because we have this. Ooh, what about cow print? That would be cool. Just some amoebas. That'll give it some darkness. We need some um, negative space here, the dark space. Think of Star Wars, the dark side of the force to give it some balance. There we go. Cow print gives it some balance. So that, cause it's like my eyes drawn over here cause there's this more darkness over here and here. And now it balances cause there's darkness over here. I don't like that, it looks like a peanut. That's a little bit better. spots for good measure. Okay. Okay, last one. I think I just want to do like just straight up stripes. There we go. Alright. So this one's cool. You have the first idea like this. If you wanted to, you could paint the background with blue watercolor or whatever your favorite color is or colored pencil. And then here, I'm going to show you one more idea that I've seen to do with that one. Oop, where'd it go? You see how on the inside of, ooh, of the sunflower, they did like the little petal marks and little dots and things just to give it some character. So you could do something like that if you want, like you could put some little things in the leaves to make them look like they have like a little petal dimple and then you could like do some things like this to give it a little texture something like that and then again if I were you if I had colors at home, I would go back and color these sunflowers so they stand out against the other stuff in the background, you know? So. Just some thoughts. Well, there you have it. Oh, we finished Sunflowers and Tingle in honor of all the sunflowers this season. This one's the wonky, crazy one with a lot of different organic shapes so so different shapes that don't really have a name they're not geometric shapes like from math class they're just kind of free flowing and then we have this one which we have these petals and then it's just like takes up this one corner it doesn't take up the whole page but you could color the background so that's that for today and i hope you enjoyed it and i can't wait to see you in person on zoom um, soon and to see your artwork. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. We'll talk to you later, okay? Bye.